when we were trying to pull numbers to see how many black women entrepreneurs exist in Canada or how many indigenous women entrepreneurs, how many diverse women entrepreneurs exist in Canada, there were no numbers. We always had to look at the US. We saw our friends our colleagues, other women doing it. So we were like, where are the numbers? What are the numbers? And that's how Founders really came about. I didn't dream about growing up and wearing a white dress and walking down the aisle. I grew up dreaming about being in a power suit in a boardroom and handling business. When we lived back home in Trinidad, my dad had this video rental service and people would come and rent movies or videos and then they would return it. When we moved to Canada, he really got involved with real estate, renting out homes, so he was in that landlord space. So it's something that's always been inside of me. Amoy, my business partner, we both had been traveling the US and doing events and saw diverse women growing. We saw the numbers, their businesses growing exponentially. Some of the challenges I see black women entrepreneurs facing are the same challenges that we faced when we started out in our business. There are many women entrepreneurs that don't register their business. They're doing it as a side hustle. So we teach them the benefits of registering your business and we teach them how to pitch. That's really what we do at Pitch Better. Pitch Better pivoting during COVID was a blessing for us in a sense. Initially, we were holding workshops and we would jump on a plane and book a hotel and book a space and do these workshops. With COVID, whether it was Zoom or Hopin, uh, we were able to now reach the nation instantly. In one shot, everybody can attend. I think that was one of the biggest eye openers for us. I think you really need to step back, take that time to step back and really think about what the future of your business looks like and the impact that you want to make. Female entrepreneurs, like everybody just says, just start, like take the jump, take the leap of faith. I would say to female entrepreneurs starting out, do your research, really like dive in, become an expert in your field. Be really considerate about what is happening in the world. You know, the things that we should all care about. For us, it's climate change, being healthy, it's pursuit, like wellness, all of those things. So I think it's just like really incorporating who you are and really getting specific about what you want and then doing the research. There's so many different ways for us to do business now the traditional like suit and tie boardroom. I hope that that just becomes extinct one day and that we can all be who we are and thrive. <laughs>